The first test was to see what the latency was with all effect blocks disabled. The second test was to see what the latency was with only the amp block enabled. The third test was to see what the latency was with only the cab block enabled. The fourth test was to see what the latency was with the amp and the cab block enabled. The fifth test was to see what the latency was with the amp, reverb and the cab block enabled. The sixth test was to see what the latency was with the amp, delay, reverb and the cab block enabled. The seventh test was to see what the latency was with the amp, modulation, delay, reverb and the cab block enabled. The eighth test was to see what the latency was with the FX, amp, modulation, delay, reverb and the cab block enabled. The ninth and final test was to see what the latency was with the FX, amp, modulation, delay, reverb blocks enabled, and a third-party impulse response. During my testing, I saw the latency range between 6 to 10 milliseconds.